Hey everybody, welcome to the Great Big Story YouTube channel. I'm Jillian. I'm Dave. Welcome to the show. Today we're looking at four stories about people who are dreaming big. And our first story is about a woman who is a bodybuilder, but a little different than the one you might expect. Keep an eye out for the heels. I am Ernestine Shepard, 80 years of age. I bench press 110 pounds. I started training at age 71. I was named the oldest female competitive bodybuilder at the Guinness Book of World Records. My sister and I started exercising together. I had never done any type of exercising before. Before she died, she said, promise me you will follow my dream and try to get in the Guinness Book of World Records. So that's what I did. I have been in six or seven competitions. I win, but some I come out second and third, and I'm pleased with that. I'm up every morning at 2.30. After I have my devotions, I walk and I run approximately 10 miles. I'm at the gym at 7.30 and I have a group of ladies that I train. Down, one. I train all ages. One of the youngest, I think she's about 20 years of age. And the rest go from 40 all the way up to 80. When people come to my class for the very first time, they are really, really surprised. They said, I didn't think this exercise would be this tough, but if you can do it, we are going to do it too. I really don't feel as though I'm 80 years of age, but I am. I want to keep training until my day is done. For our next story, we are going to take a little trip around the globe and go to Nepal. This story is about a guy who is the oldest student in his class, by a long shot. Urchu, ani aapno garma hunda ko din ma kharcha parda aur hunda ko din ma jo jastu tha mere garma pakamchu ghanchu school ma janchu. Mere naam Durgi Kami, class 10, mere umir 69. एक घंटा बीस मिनट लाख था, दस बजे स्कूल लाख था, चार बजे छुट्टी हुई था। मला मन पर नहीं बिसाय होने को सामाजिक रा जाने संकी जो मला मन पर था। मौ बंदा अब शानू उम्र का सारो सारो भाई था बनी, सारो वाला महिले जानी ये वड़ा माँ विद्यार्थी को डिसिप्लिन बाढ़ा सार और सार और लाइफ बनी तो मलाई आप टाइम को समय में आह साथी और सीता फुटबॉल खेलना बनी मलाई मन पड़ता भली बाली खेलना बनी मन पड़ता आह इन्हें खेलो और खेले रा माँ अपनो आज मलाई संतुष्टि कर ले घर दस अनीमा घर में आए पूजा हरी दी घंटा लगता उकालो वरालो दी घंटा मार जानी घुमा गार्ड सु पड़ सु अनि निद्र लाग सा बुड़ो मंचे अनि निदाउ सु अनि भली पड़ जा उड़ सु अनि फिर वही हो पढ़नु तो मलाई घरे आगरी समो पढ़नु मन लगे को था बच्चा मा 
स्कूल गई ना तर स्कूल नजिक थे अभी पढ़ने भाई कुरो को महत्व थे तीखे मिक मैं ज्ञान आएर यह उमेर में मैं चाहिए सबला मैं शिक्षा को एटा ज्योति देखा को लगी वृद्ध अवस्था में गए इस पढ़् पर्द रह मैं सब मनोबल बढ़ा को लगी सब मैं राष्ट्र अंतरराष्ट्र सब जानी तल्लो वर्ग को युवा बाला वृद्धा सब मैं एट आत्मा बल को लगी ओहो पढ़् पर्ने रहो रह सब मैं मथि उचाल को लगी मैं ये उमेर में पढ़े Our next story is about a guy who fought to serve both his country and his faith. His name's Captain Singh and he has quite a story. Sikhism is the world's fifth largest religion. A Sikh's uniform, right, a beard and turban and all the articles of faith. When I wear them, I'm representing equality, justice, fairness. I'm telling the world that this is what I stand for and this is what I will fight for. A Sikh would rather lose his head than lose his turban. I'm Simrat Paul Singh. I'm a captain in the U.S. Army, and I'm also a Sikh. Two, one, and jump. Engage. When I found out that I could not serve with my articles of faith, that was a shock to me. Sikhs and military service go hand in hand. My great grandfather served in World War One for the British Indian Army. There's no conflict between what Sikh values are and the Army values. I started my military career at West Point when I was 18. I knew I was going to have to make a big decision of walking away from articles of faith. The grooming standards, as far as shaving, were codified so that everyone in the military, soldiers, uh, looked the same. And I was standing in line right outside the barber shop and uh, thinking, "Well, here it is, right?" And I sat down, and 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 the uh, the ladies at the barber shop were uh, were surprised. I had long hair; I had hair all the way to my back. I don't know if they understood what was going on. My entire life was changing. You know, everything, my self-image, everything was being shattered, and that's when I had to make a decision, right? And the decision I made was I'm going to choose to serve my country and figure out a way to come back to my articles of faith later on. It was after I met the two gentlemen who were were in the articles of faith and were in the army that I learned that there is a way to request religious accommodation. I was simply asking for for what I believed were, were my rights, and March 31st was when I received the permanent accommodation. And I, I had to pause. You know, think, uh, ten years later, ten years later, it had it had finally happened. The first day that I wore my uniform uh, with my beard and turban, it, it was an unreal, unreal, unreal feeling. When I look in the mirror now, I, I feel a sense of pride and completeness. My two worlds have come together. Sometimes to achieve your dreams, you need a co-pilot. Like in rally car racing. Buckle up. Turn left four thirty. Be right behind. Four left five. Left four thirty. Into left five. Car left four down to right. The most unique part of rally car racing is if a regular person were to hear the in-car audio of a driver and a co-driver, it would seem like they were speaking gibberish. In actuality, it's a language that tells that driver what is coming next. They really are just the eyes for the driver before they can get to that spot. Rally car racing in America is stage racing. Uh, you can have anywhere from 12 to 14 stages, anywhere from six to 20 miles in some cases. I mean, you're racing other competitors, but really, it's you against the clock. So inside of a rally car, we have two people. We have a driver and a co-driver. The driver drives the car, tries to keep it on the road without wrecking it, and the co-driver is responsible for reading the notes. 50 turn, a left three will tighten. A right three minus, no cut. 
So for this example, we have 50 here. Um, so that means before the next uh, note I call, you'll have 50 meters. Um, and then T for me stands for turn, which means you'll change roads from the road that you're currently on. And then a left three. Left obviously means your corner is going to go to the left. And a three is the degree of the corner. There's so much information to take in from the co-driver. You say 120 miles over a weekend, there could be as many as two to 3,000 different commands that co-driver is reading the driver. Pretty much that co-driver, you know, isn't the computer of that car. He or she is gonna get you from point A to point B. And as a driver, you need to trust what that co-driver is telling you. We started um, as a team when I was 15 and um, sometimes I feel like I can simply read his mind. I really trust what she is telling me uh, to the point where if I had to close my eyes and maybe not drive at race speed, she could tell me, pace notes, and I could still drive blind. Into left three, into right four, up. 70, right four long up, tightens at T to a right two, brake turn, left three off camber, 40, into a care, left three down, 50, turn, left three tightens into a right three minus. Rallies let me see how, uh, you know, one of my children has grown up and how they've become. If I looked at her as a co-driver and not a, not a daughter or, or a relative, I'd, I'd grab her in a heartbeat. I'd love to make it a full-time career one day and, and rally internationally. And I'd love to just follow in my dad's footsteps. We hope you've enjoyed watching these great big stories with us. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the horse and make sure to leave us a comment down below so we know what you're thinking. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.